Hello everyone, this is Ranjit from GCSIR team. In today's video, I will discuss what is forced link and unlink rule for IR registry edition and how to use it. So here is the agenda, what is forced link and unlink rule, how to enable it, how we can add a forced link and unlink rule uh, for the records and I will show you how to use it. So forced link and unlink feature helps user to identify a set of records as being the same entity or different entity. It provides facility to remember the decision were made on the records for one load to another load. It helps user to um, retain the relationship between the records for one load to another load or during the maintenance of the cluster. Uh, to enable forced link and unlink rule in a system add apply FLUL option in persistent ID options in multi search definition and create a system. It will enable force and force link and unlink rule for that system. IR maintains the uh, force link and unlink rule in cluster membership rule table. There are four columns in this table. Group ID, it is a unique identifier for a membership table. Records, this column will contain the primary key for the records. Exclusive GID, this column will contain the GID of the unlinked membership rules. And the last column is state, uh, this column will hold the state of the rules. It can be either active or inactive. So here is the example of the rules in MR tables. So for link rule, there is a link rule for a primary key 11 and 14 so both the records are in the group id 1 so records having same group id will join in same cluster if it if there is an unlink rule ids eg id colon will be populated so for a primary key 11 which is part of group id 1 has a unlink rule for the record which is part of group id2 similarly uh, id uh, similarly primary key 14 which is part of group id2 has a unlink rule with the records which is part of group 1 so there are multiple ways to load link and unlink rules in ir registry edition you can create a flat file and load you can create a flat file with the rules and load them from console or using a bad job. In the flat file, you need to define rule type, whether it is uh, if you are, whether you are adding the rule or deleting existing rule, the primary key of the records which you want to group together, the relationship of the rule, whether it is a link rule or unlink rule, and the primary key of the second records which you want to group with the first record. You, you can create multiple records in the same file the records should be separated with new line you you uh, you can also provide the link and unlink rules through apis you can also insert the rules uh, in membership record table using a sql so cluster uh, membership can be maintained uh, from the IDD so if we are moving the records from IDD from one cluster to another cluster the link and unlink records will be preserved in form of link and unlink rule respectively in a membership rule table now I will give you a demo how it works so currently there are three, re three records in membership table primary key 11 and 2 belongs to same cluster and 14 is in different cluster so I am searching a record from IDD and opening it I will find the merge candidate so before merging them, merging them I can I can check membership rule table there is no rule I am merging the, these two clusters
so okay so the records is record is moved to the same cluster i will check again the membership rule table so there is a rule inserted in this table for all these three records which which will be part of the same cluster now so even if i am updating any of a record it will fall into the same cluster even though it is matching or not with existing members so records i have updated the records now i will run the update synchronizer so synchronizer has started it will update that record so records has been updated we will check the membership table so we can see the records has updated but it uh, it's joined the same cluster because there was a link rule so this is the how you can configure and use force link and unlink rule in the and we always love to hear from you so please uh, share your feedback on feedback on twitter or you can log into in support videos at the reddit informatica.com to share your feedback thank you